This is a HeadGum Original. Jake and Amir, two Jews that you can't forget. In 2010, they were big on the internet. And all things considered, their success is more than fair. Now here's one more effort for only positive motivations, they swear. Seven. Another podcast. Seven. Each app different from the last. Seven. It's the Swiss Army knife of show. Meet you two emphatic hosts. Woo! Huh. Change your shirt color now why because we're both wearing white shirts yours is yours is a very wrinkly henley they're so different <laughs> it's incredibly it's wrinkly henley. yeah so you have it's a crisp a little bacon collar going on it's that henley. is you obviously tried that yeah. you didn't hang dry anything you washed it on warm you tossed it in the dryer you thought everything was going to be fine but it's not <laughs> Is it it's slightly pink because there was a red sock? Yeah, and I did it yeah. because during which I had a pink sock, <laughs> aka oh, a prolapsed <laughs> rectum. Ass. Yeah, yeah, good. Forget I made fun of the shirt. I'm just really <laughs> sorry to hear everything. That I'm you're going sitting through. on a donut. Good, good. You're taking care of yourself now. <laughs> Hardly. I wish I was. Instead, I have a nurse taking care of me. <laughs> oh, welcome. Welcome, everybody. We are yeah. back. It's on Monday. We're not writing an episode yet. No. It's too early for that. That's right. It's actually Monday right now. We're recording on a Monday for a Monday. That's pretty early for us. We're normally, uh, you know, last minute. We've, oh, shit, we've it's Thursday. It's Thursday. So sorry, Grim. We're going to get you this episode. I promise. I just mm. I can't upload the video. It's really slow on my laptop. I shot I think it in four K by accident. <laughs> oh, I changed that. Yeah, I yeah, have been shooting too. it in four K by accident. There you go. There I you guess go. that's the default setting. I don't know. I need yeah. to get a new phone also because this is unrelated to anything. But it like only charges at certain angles. It's like that phase of having a phone. Yeah. Where have I, you I, you've I done the why. cleaning? You've you've. I've Gotten tried the... to do the cleaning with my fingernail, yeah, get the lint mm -hmm. out of there, but it What's seems your fingernail? like fingernail. Get a yeah, fucking paper clip. I... It paper clip is too thick. I have to have something as thin and sharp and hard as my fingernail to that's, get no, in there with not, a hook. That's not rigid enough. It's Ripped. thin and it's sharp, but it's not rigid enough. You need something <laughs> it's that's plenty rigid. <laughs> no, it's it's actually too rigid. <laughs> yeah. I have a uh... Some I've been snorting sort of biotin situation. for a year. <laughs> my hair and my nails and my teeth are too hard. Yeah. They're starting to crack. I look like a chia pet. <laughs> um, but like it only, my phone only charges. I'm becoming like a I'm cactus. I'm shoving it. Yes, I have needles coming out of me. Well, here's another but, question for you. Yeah. Here's another question for you. Are, yeah. Are you, is this any charger at all? This is like chargers around the office or is this your home charger? It's the foam and it's the car. It's like I have to like press up into the foam for it to okay. be like charging. Yeah. Uh, it's right. not great. Yeah. So it does sound like you need a new phone. It sounds yeah, like you need a new phone, but I, I do wish you would try cleaning it with a pin. No reason not to try. <laughs> a bobby pin. pin. A, a bobby pin. pin. <laughs> yes, because it has a soft rubber edge. So it's not going to scratch the phone. It's it is thin because it's got the flat surface and it is yes rigid isn't it because it is metal okay it's got a little bit of give but you want that spring you want that scoop and you want that okay that hawk tua <laughs> that's right you don't want to use your nail that's not yeah. that's not efficient or sufficient <laughs> Anyway, this is Segments, um, an ever-changing podcast hosted by us. I'm Amir. I this am is Josh. Um, should we do like PTI, pardon the interruption style, like tell people what the segments are going to be? Or is it more exciting to not know until oh, like we're in that's it? That's a good question. Well, why don't, we'll just ask right now. Why don't okay. we test? We don't usually tell people the segments, right? Yeah. So let's give them a rundown today and see if they like mm -hmm. it or if they prefer to be surprised. 
Okay. Okay. Um, so today we have we have got a DIY discussion. Yes. Um, a home repair of sorts. Yes. And then and then we've got what was the second one? I already the forgot. second one. Oh, is Game Boy, but for our oh, yeah. personal emails. Right. Game Boy personal email style. And then the third is I've got another um real lion or fake line, Jake and Amir. Yeah. Okay. Real lion or line? Real line. Because oh, okay. yeah, lion, that's, that's we've never, yeah, yeah. Even I wonder if we've ever said lion on Jake and Amir. What do you think? <laughs> I would assume so, but I can't really think of anything. Mm-hmm. I guess the question. All right, I'll search the Jake and Amir script archive. Which, by the way, when you go to watch any of the videos, it's just an advertisement for Dropout. So I wonder if we should fix that, just because <laughs> we do own the videos now, we can make them yeah. go anywhere we want. Right. Um, okay. Wow. Wow. What? There's a lot more mentions of Lion than I would have thought. You now we're go playing Game all? Boy, but with the, scre- with the screenplay. That the might screen actually them. be more fun, by the way. So that's yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'll tell you all of them. There's a lot. Jesus. Okay. Uh, we've said Lion apparently in Pictionary, which came out in 2008, uh, in Park, in DVD, and Interpreters Part 2, Cheer Up. <laughs> In 2009, we said Lion twice in Las Vegas and two months, <laughs> two million interview. Uh huh. In 2010, classic. we said it thrice. Private wow. Eye Part Two with Ben. Yeah. That's where he's the he's the like park. Oh wait, no, Isn't Private Eye Park Ranger. Is park yeah, Ranger. that's different. Of course, uh, Private Eye Part Two, Muffin, and Ransom. In 2011, we actually went absolutely nuts. We said lion one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven times. Eleven times in a year? Yeah. That's almost I don't know. <laughs> that, that, it's, it's like, like a once quarter every year. Month. Yeah. Um, Jesus. Okay. That is that was in ransom. A hundred and fifty thousand <laughs> Facebook fans thank you video. When did we say it there? Let's just I see. Bet- I bet this can't be right. Oh, yeah. It's like it's not it's right. Like, yeah. yeah. It's like searching any L I O or something. Right. No, it's searching the the one that is tipping the scales is the word million. Oh yeah. Which is probably why it shows up in the two months, yes. two million interviews. <laughs> no, that one did have a lion in it. Yeah, well, now, that makes more sense. Yeah, there's so, okay. Is there so any now way I'm to gonna, search specifically lion? Honestly, no, but I'm gonna go through <laughs> now. I'm going through and I'm gonna see. If there's ever a time where, yeah, all of these are million. They're yeah, all that makes million. More sense. Yeah, Way yeah, more yeah, sense, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Now, now we need to know. Did we ever say lion? Did we ever say lion? Because there's another million. There's, and there should be a billion or two in there, too. Yeah, there was a billion. Yeah. Uh, all right, stop talking. You're saying like a million different things. I say that yeah. at one point. Economic, yeah. cr- economic crisis, too. We already know it's, oh, yeah, million, yeah. billion, yeah. and trillion in there. Yeah. Texting, yeah. okay, $4 yeah. million dollars with us, but yeah. they couldn't. Yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah, I think really is all million <laughs> and not one lion. <laughs> Let's find out. We're almost through all of these. Although you can't spell million without lion. Right. But now I'm just like, it's amazing. We li- Did we literally never say lion? I thought, I couldn't remember one. That's why I was so shocked that this actually yeah. um, yielded so many results. But million makes more sense. Right, exactly. Um, oh, there we go. I I found it. We finally actually said it. Um, was it in a Ben Schwartz episode? No, it was in Horoscopes. Oh, yeah, inside I'm a lion, or like emotionally I'm an ox or something like that. Some, all right, so you say, um, you're reading from a newspaper. You will confront conflicts this month, but rest assured you can solve them. Maybe not through, maybe not though. And then you say, that's vintage you. And I say, that's vintage anybody. Uh, no, and then you say, no, because the way it works is that you're a Leo. So that stars look like a lion, and it knows that you're going <laughs> to... That you're how you're gonna act. <laughs> I say, try not to learn new things. Uh, and then I make fun of you by saying, the stars look like a lion and it shows how you're gonna act. And then you say, yeah, they really do. They look like a lion. <laughs> All right. So we did Mystery say it multiple salt. times in at least one video. Yeah. 
horoscope that looks like a good video i don't know if we've watched that on uh jake and amir watch but probably yeah yeah probably uh okay here's my home decor diy week ahead Mm -hmm. okay not a dilemma this is a plan Yes, it's a plan. It's not a dilemma yet, but maybe by next episode, there'll be plenty of problems. Mm -hmm. Um, Have you ever installed wallpaper or paid somebody to install wallpaper in your house? I've actually never done wallpaper. Okay. Do you like wallpaper? I like it when I see it and somebody else has made a decision, but I think wallpaper is a stressful thing for me because there's so many options. There are. And that was the hardest part about deciding to do a wallpaper. There's wallpapers in two of my walls already. Right. You like wallpaper. You're a wallpaper guy. Some people are wallpaper people. Yeah. I like the way it looks. It's like a a nice alternative to painting. Yeah. Uh, So the goal for our living room is to take down the TV, to put up wallpaper, and then to replace that old TV with a frame TV. So it looks like a gallery wall in front of a wallpaper, but one I of the see. wall, one of the paintings is a television. So you're going to so have a cool. full-on gal- gallery wall. You've got different paintings and pictures to put up there. Correct. Right now, it's just a white wall with like a, a 2015 Vizio um, yeah. mounted. I've seen the frame as part of the, the gallery wall. I think it's a good look. I like yeah. that. Yeah. So that was part of Avital's birthday gift. She wanted um, to make turn the living room into less of a plain space. So right. I'm like, okay, I'll get the TV, and then we can do the wallpaper and all that stuff together. Nice. Uh, so Samsung Frames TVs yeah. had a monopoly on the frame TV market right. up until last month. Really? Yes. Did that they was have the first like, thing I learned. Why? Because there are no other TVs that look like matte art. So right. I thought like this was a whole part of the television game. But no, Samsung for the last, whatever, five, six, seven years were the only game in town. Yeah. Was there and a they reason? Were charging, just because they were the only ones that knew how to do it? Yeah, or they're the ones that cared how to do it because the TV itself is not as good as like a really nice TV that's like 4K, ULED, all the stuff I don't understand, uh-huh. really thin. It's not that great of a television, but it looks... Unlike any other TV, it looks like actual art. Right. Um, so, and instead of, you know, spending $1,000 on a 65-inch TV, the frame TV is like $2,000. Because, yeah. you know, when it's off, it looks like a painting. Right. And no other TV could do that, supposedly. Until this other television just launched last month. So I'm like, this is perfect timing. We're finally going to pull a trigger on a frame TV. And uh, with all the complaints people have about the Samsung frame TV, there's a new game in town. It's cheaper. It's a brand called Hisense. Mm -hmm. Uh, I guess it's this Chinese TV brand. Instead of $2,000, it's $1,300. And instead of having to run the Samsung software, which nobody seems to like, it has a Google software. So it's cheaper. It's better. And in theory, and it comes with a frame, which the frame TV doesn't. So this is perfect. Oh, yeah. Right. Okay. Um, the problem is I still have my old TV on my wall. I still got to take that down. We still had to choose the wallpaper. Mm-hmm. We still had to decide what kind of wallpaper. There's multiple kinds of wallpaper, the yeah. design, the technique, all this stuff. Right. So we finally figured all that stuff out. Okay. And as you search for wallpaper, every Instagram ad becomes for more wallpaper. And oh, do you yeah. want textured yeah. wallpaper? Do you want stick too wallpaper? Much. Do you want it's glue wallpaper? Much. So many options. Yeah. We actually did a peel and stick wallpaper in our bedroom during the pandemic. You did it yourselves? Yes. Interesting. It's giant sheets of sticker that you stick onto a yeah. wall. One one column, then you shift over, do another column, lather, rinse, repeat. But those are stickers. Right. The wallpaper we found isn't a sticker at all. It's old school wallpaper, which means you literally have to purchase wallpaper glue and paint it on the wallpaper or paint it on the wall. Uh Uh-huh. That sounds so hard. It does sound very hard. And I haven't done it yet, but I've watched a lot of YouTube videos of people doing it. And making it look easy. Very easy. These guys who have done it a thousand times can just fucking slap it on, exacto knife the edges, figure it out, line it up, no problem, no, Uh no issue at all. And then everything I look into, it's like, all right, this is how you glue the wallpaper on the wall. Some people will tell you to glue the wall. I prefer to glue the wallpaper. Some people will tell you to prefer the wallpaper. I tell you to do the wall. Um, 
I hope, and then one of the comments is like, I hope you also talk about priming the wall. You got to prime the wall before that. Right, so it can't like, just go, I, yeah, the wall's got to be flat because otherwise what are you going to do? Exactly. Yeah. Okay. And then everything I find opens up another door. It's like, it not just has to be fat, flat, you have to spackle all the holes, but there's also something called a sizing. You want to sizer the wall. I'm like, what the hell is that? Well, you know, the glue sticks to the paint and we can't have the glue directly touch the paint. So you got to put a primer or a sizing, which is another layer that goes on the paint so that when the glue touches the wall, there's actually a middleman in between the two so that it helps stick and that when you take the wallpaper off, it doesn't destroy the wall. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, I go to fucking like Home Depot, Buller Hardware. I start asking them all these questions like, yeah, well, technically you do want to do that, but you got to do this and you got to have a brush and you got to have a sponge because the glue gets everywhere and you got to wash it off before it dries and you got to get the tarp so that when you glue it, it doesn't bleed through. I'm like, oh my God. So I have this whole plan ahead of me that I haven't even done yet. So hopefully by the time (laughs) you guys hear this episode. Are you, what are you planning to do it? Well, it has to happen in phases. I can't uh-huh. even do it all in one day. Okay. So where are you right now? Is the TV still on the wall? The TV doesn't exist. What do you mean? I burnt my house down. <laughs> trying I didn't to want to buy this the sizer. <laughs> I didn't do the primer. I didn't do the wall. Yeah, right now I'm at square one. We actually, we've chosen the wallpaper. It's coming. But I the see. old TV is still mounted on the wall. I've never unmounted a television. I've never mounted a television. I've only like told people, like handymen, where to put it. Yeah, yeah. So you're going to have to take the TV. Do you still have the receiver just stuck behind the television? Yes. So like I, was... have the, I have the mount that's like three inches away from the wall, and like everything is stuffed behind the wall, like the cable box, the modem, the wires. Yeah. It's all just like hidden behind the television. That can't exist anymore. The frame right. is flush into the wall. Yeah. And so you know the frame, the cable it, has, box? The, it has a tiny little, a very tiny little wire. Yeah. Well, that's, oh, that's another good thing about the high sense canvas yeah. TV. The frame TV does not have, the canvas TV does not have a little wire. It does not have a one box. It's oh. all within the television. That's, inc- you know, I bought a frame TV and returned it, right? Because of the one box. Yeah. Because we bought it. We had like, <laughs> we, we did our whole house renovation. Like there was a wall where, um, the contractor's like, oh, you're going to want to put a TV there. You're going to want to put like an outlet there so you can mount a TV. And yeah. I was like, no, because I don't really want like all of the, like, I don't want all of the stuff down here. We just want to have like the living room, no TV. And he's like, no, like, let's just, you should just do it. You're going to, I trust me, you're going to want it. A few months in, we're like, okay, maybe we are glad we did it. Let's go, let's get the frame TV because it's just going to sit there and we won't even notice it. It'll be like <laughs> art. And sometimes we could like watch sports exactly or right. soccer. <laughs> Which is where I'm at. And then I, but then we, and we went to the Samsung store. We saw yep. them and yep. we're like, oh, this is great. Let's, let's get it. So we got it. <laughs> and I was too nervous to touch anything in my house. I had a task rabbit come over to mount this frame TV. Yeah. Which is what I'll be resorting to when I yeah. fail to do it myself. He takes it out of the box. He's like, all right. So the TV is going to go here. And he's like, and where do you want the, the, like the box? That one box. Yeah. To go. And I was like, oh, yeah. I don't, I don't want that to go anywhere. <laughs> I thought it was a. I thought it was. A I thought TV. it was all contained was within like, the right. frame. Well, no, itself. it's the frame. It's a per- It looks like a picture frame. And then, of course, yeah. there's a wire in a box. Like, so yeah, how does exactly. it look like a picture frame? Yeah, it like that's really, the monitor, but there frame. still needs to be a computer. Yeah. And with the high sense canvas TV, the monitor and the computer is like an iPad. It's all in one. I'm actually thrilled to hear about this. Well, I'm there thrilled. are no reviews for this TV because it just came out last month. So if I was able to figure all this stuff out, I'll mm. let you know. Yeah, let me know if you, you like it, it. Let me know if you like it. I did. I bought a, I bought a Google TV and I hate it. So, I'm I'm curious to see if yours is if yours is better running on the on the Google platform. Yeah, but I mean everybody has pros and cons, highs and lows for any television. So as long as we get used to it, I'm hoping it works out. But then framing or like. Once I do all this wallpaper, which I don't even know if I could do, putting that TV up on the wall, it has its own like infrastructure and all this stuff. And it's like, oh, you're going to, since you can't hide the cable box and the internet, you got to like literally build it into the wall. Like, have you ever seen this? Like, you have to literally carve into the oh, wall yeah. and put a media cabinet in there yeah, yeah, behind yeah. the frame TV. Oh, yeah. It's a real, it's, it's, it's a to do. High sense. That lot. sounds, that sounds great, honestly. That yeah. It's really nice. I don't even know if you could frame a TV into wallpaper, quite frankly. I just assume it'll work. Yeah. 
I'm sure it'll be fine. But you're gonna have to take you're gonna have to take the, the TV glue. off, and then you're gonna have to. Are you gonna spackle it? Are you gonna? Yeah, prime I got it? spackle. Never, got spackle. never spackled. Wow. Yeah, I'm gonna have to spackle, sand it down, and then put the primer on. Whatever, like another invisible layer, so that when the glue gets on the wall, it doesn't touch the. Wall. I don't really understand fully yeah. what's going. on. I've almost on. never done a home project that went well. I don't yes, think exactly. I've ever, ever done Because it's one. all your first time doing it. Yeah. Nobody's first time nails it. You have to do it a hundred times. And it then took it's like, me now a decade, to it. truly a decade. Like now I know how to use drywall screws. It took me yeah. such a long time to even understand the the concept behind drywall screws. That's like the bit, the plastic one that you screw the screws in. Yeah, you have to like drill into the, into the wall, then you hammer yeah. the plastic <laughs> screw, and then you can yeah. put a, like a screw yeah. in. Yeah. Um, but that's... I've only gotten, I've only been able to do that because I was like mounting stuff inside of a closet. So I was a little less like scared, but I feel like, man, there was, yeah, my, uh, my last apartment, I like was trying to, I was, you know, like one of those like cool swing lights. Yeah. I was like, oh, I'm going to try to mount this myself. How hard can it be? I'm just going to like, just, I have, I have got, I cleared my afternoon. I was like, I'm, I have nothing to do today. I'm going to get this thing mounted and Joe will be so happy because she'll come home and it's going to look so nice. I did all the measurements. I started, I did like the drywall screw. I like hammered it in and just like instantly the the, the drywall was like the size of a quarter. I was like, right. this is too loose. And <laughs> it's way soft. too loose. I can't. You I can't, can't troubleshoot anything thing. when it's no. like, I can watch like, a YouTube video. And I need if it goes a new perfectly, wall. What I am I going to do now? If one thing goes wrong, I'm dead. Yeah. I'm absolutely dead to I rights. instantly called our super and I was like, I'm scared, <laughs> sir. I don't know what I did. <laughs> I ruined your building. <laughs> <laughs> it was so annoying because he, he was always happy to come up and do, do everything, but he never liked to just do it. He liked me to be there so we could explain the entire time like I was ever going to learn anything. Well, that's what I want to do with this wallpaper. Like, I can hire somebody to do it, but it's like $700. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, I think I can sort of do it myself. But then it's like, I want like a friend who's done it before to right, do it Right, that's ideal. Me. A favor. Because like already, yes. at the $700 person, they come with the, the brush, the glue, the spackle. You probably spent $200 yes, on material already. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And it's multiple people. I don't think they do it by themselves. I'm just me. Right. How am I going to take a TV yeah. off a wall? It's kind of heavy. Right. No, yeah. You're going to need you're going to need a billy. At least two, right? To like hold the TV while I unscrew? Like that's seems dangerous. Well, you no, the TV is like on hooks. You just need two people to so lift I, it off the hook. Yeah. yeah. And then you're going to lean it against the couch and, and then, then I take the and mount then you'll see the bracket. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Then you're going to spackle those. Then yeah. you'll prime those. Then you're going to yeah. need a sizer. <laughs> yeah. And then you'll do some glue on the wall. Some people this say is, wallpaper, but I say wall. This honestly, a video of us doing this would be good content. But you That's don't true. live in LA, so I can't wait for that. Yeah, a video of you doing it's going to be even better. Actually, I, I'm going to try. You're but now Instagram I need a fourth person. It. Yeah, somebody actually shooting it, somebody helping me, somebody then me doing, trying to do everything. You know, and I got to sell at, the TV. Jill's dad is actually good at it. Oh really? Yeah, he's a good wall. He's I mean he's pretty handy, but he, he's specifically is like very good at doing wallpaper. He does all of the uh, the wallpaper. Yeah, because him and I, he, they like have a house in Palm Springs that they like uh, renovate, and they he does. The ask wallpaper. him if he draws his plumb lines with pencil or yeah. uses a laser. I, I'll, I will. I will. I will. And it does need to be plumb. Yeah. And it needs to Which be Which I sizer. found out recently means perfectly vertical. <laughs> Otherwise, your wallpaper will be installed askew. Exactly. 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 So look forward to the update in a week when I realize really quickly I'll have to hire somebody for more than $700 now because now they have to undo all the things that I fucked up. <laughs> In addition to yeah, doing it will the be more expensive than the than the original quote. Yes. And I don't I don't know how to mount the canvas TV. Oh no, I do not know how to yeah. mount that at all. Yeah. Right. All right, that's the update for now. Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this episode of our show. That's correct. Ah, uh, what's better than Squarespace for creating a professional looking website portfolio? Uh, online store, Jake, you name it, Squarespace can do it, and you've done it. Many times over to great success. 
let me remind you. What what have you used Squarespace for? Wedding website, product website, personal website. It is just it's your one stop shop. Okay. For mom and pop. Exactly. You can even buy a domain name through Squarespace. That's are you familiar? Right. Yes, yes indeed. I was actually searching for domain names earlier. Do you know the term fly a kite? Like you can go fly a kite? Uh no. Really? Well then you're gonna love Fly a I've never bike. heard of flyakite.com. <laughs> Wait, what is it? Fly a bike? Flyabike.com. You can fly a kite. Why don't you <laughs> fly a kite? I said fly a kite. Fly a, fly a kite. You can fly a bike. <laughs> it's you really of... can't fly a bike. Yeah, well, if you're riding it really fast. I mean, you're being an absolute moon raisin. <laughs> <laughs> is is oh, it moonraisin or is it absolute moonraisin.com? Moonraisin.com. And, and is absolute moonraisin available? Taken. Because <laughs> that's the more famous phrase. Yes. Once Much I like use fly it. Fly a bike. On the show. Yeah. So whether you want to buy flyabike.com mm-hmm. or moonraisin.com, uh-huh. the best way to do all of that is to go to squarespace.com slash segments. Segments. And you can launch a free uh, version of your website. And when you're ready to put it in the world, when you're ready to purchase, uh, you can save 10% by using that coupon code segments. Segments. So it's squarespace.com slash segments. Segments. Try it out for free. And then when you're ready to launch, um, if you want to purchase a website, a domain, whatever, you can get 10% off if you use that coupon code segments. Segments. Namaste. Thank you. Have a good one. See you later, Moon Raisins. Funny. All right, we're back. Hello, hello. Uh, while we wait for my primer to dry, um, <laughs> we came up with the idea of Game Boy, who's our old friend from the previous podcast we did. Oh. That's right. In oh. which we try to search our emails for a word that only yields one result. One result. And then we'll read that email. Hopefully it's a fun personal email. Yes, lion would probably work because it looked like the majority of them were a million. Mm -hmm. We only found one lion. That's actually true. Uh, So do you want to start or should I for guessing? You'll guess a word that I have to search in my Gmail and vice versa. Um, Why don't you you guess for my email? Okay. I'll guess um, maybe something kind of salacious. Really? And see if it yields something funny. Yeah. So you're not trying to get down to one email. You're trying to <laughs> Well, it might. Search. I mean, I also don't know why you would search like a, this in your Gmail. Ejaculate or something. Yeah. Let's see if Let's I ever search. had really bad uh, <laughs> cyber sex. <laughs> uh, we're not counting spam email, right? Because right. that'll yield a lot. of. We're looking for personal emails sent to you or you sent. Precisely. Precisely. We'll have to. We'll have to get rid of the spam because when I archive it, I don't know if it still shows up in the searches. Yeah, we'll find out. Let's search. I guess, let's do um, moisture. Moisture. Just moisture. Moisture. Have you ever sent it or received an email that said moisture? About moisture. Um, wow, it looks like I got one from you on June fifth. <laughs> <laughs> two weeks ago. Hey, how's your moisture? Don't it was, ask uh, me it was why. an ad that we read on this podcast. My line is not sure how or when you got that <laughs> idea. Actually, for legal legal reasons, I may shift gears entirely. Moisture wicking shirts available at cost. <laughs> oh yeah. I guess I did send you an email recently that say moisture. Um, uh does okay. it yield a thousand results or does it show yeah, spam? It's, it it's many, many. Okay. Um it looks that was, like that was a bad one. Yeah, moisture cuz it's during the our home renovation it looks like the, there's lots of moisture talk. <laughs> yeah, a lot of issues with moist. Mhm. Mhm. Yeah, okay, I mean, why don't you go? Why several you go? pages I'll, I'll of moisture. Thinking. Lots okay. of moisture. Almost um, too much moisture. Okay. Why don't we say, you know, we don't want to say boner. Um I don't want to say uh say okay. Let's let's look at um, this is hard because I've also had Gmail for 20 years. Yeah, exactly. I don't know if it's all in here, though. Oh, how about inconceivable? Okay. Because that's like an email where you might be irate. 
<laughs> this is good. like inconceivable. Like this is insane to me. This is this is crazy to me. That's like I'm pretty mad. But this is yeah. inconceivable. Is <laughs> like I'm actually fucking livid. Okay. Wow, that's pretty good. There's six. Wow. That yeah. Is good. Six. I mean, it's definitely the leader in the clubhouse. Uh, first one is spam. Second one is spam. Third one is spam. Uh, fourth one uh, is uh, an email about a somebody planning a birthday. Oh no, somebody wanting to go to Cinespia in 2017. Okay. Uh, the fourth one is a Mike Hard's Lemonade pre-roll script from 2014. Nice. Because it also searches attachments. Right. Okay. And the first email I got that was inconceivable is from you. No way. It was a. It was an email you forwarded me. Actually, yes, it was an email between you and Jake Lodwick in 2011. <laughs> wow, that's so old. Yes, uh, it's about. Oh, this is interesting, actually. It's like CH history. So it's really? an email between Ricky and Jake Lodwick, and then I guess he forwarded it to you. J Lodwick did? And then you forwarded it to me. Wow. Is it gossip? Is it salacious? It's it's like half it's like businessy stuff where it's like uh um CH is funding their prank war videos, starting with the last one where they went to LA. We only recently moved them from Vimeo to CH, which probably explains why not all of them are tagged. It's like about putting pr uh, oh prank videos on college humor. Like, would oh here we go, yeah, this is exactly like the origin of Jake and Amir. Jesus, no way. Well, yeah. look at this treasure trove. Inconceivable. Wow. It actually, it's it's an. E I knew I'd find some there. fucking dirt. <laughs> so I this is it. when inconceivable starts. Which, by the way, the first the first three were spam, and you said we were ignoring. So I basically got three <laughs> emails. Yeah. That's pretty good. So this is an email from Jake Lodwick in two thousand seven to Ricky. Two thousand seven. Uh, yeah. Jeff and Amir's tastes and captions are great. He's talking about Jeff Rubin and me. Mm -hmm. Uh, but it's just icing on the cake. What if CH was known for having five original videos per day and not just one off like mementos? Remember the college humor video we made about mementos, like a yeah. real life mementos ad? Right. But quick, funny shorts featuring the hilarious guys. It's really not inconceivable. Uh, it would have to have the recurring appeal of serial programs mixed with real lifeness of reality TV. Of course, they'd be played, <laughs> playing heightened versions of themselves, but it would still be all be very authentic. Wow. So it's like video strategy between Ricky and Jake talking about- That was Jake these... to Ricky? Yeah, that was Jake Lodwick to Ricky. Uh, and then Ricky says, uh, talking about Jake and Amir, I like their Trustfall video too. I wonder if CH users would as well. We can put it on CH and test it. Remember Holy Trustfall? Holy shit. I have chills. That's crazy. <laughs> it really is insane. It's inconceivable. So we just were making, we've always, it's always been part of our oral history. We're like, well, we started making videos for fun and then we put them on college humor. Yes. But this is like, them you know, deciding what, on sometimes that. Sometimes your history just kind of becomes like something you say all the time and you actually forget it. Like we literally did just like, we made these videos for Vimeo. Oh, interesting. So this, yeah, and this thread is from 2007, but Jake Lodwick forwarded it to you in 2011. Oh, uh, maybe to... And then you responded, Jesus, this is so crazy to read. Thanks for having our back. Wow. So so he was must... Maybe he told me somewhere, like at a party or something, that he was the one that pushed it. That's right. So it's like, by the way, like I'm the one who like told Ricky and Josh to put your stuff on College Humor. Yeah, I could before see that. that it was just on Vimeo. Wow, that's wild. That's that is genuinely crazy. <laughs> yeah, and it's a <laughs> it's an email thread from 2007. Yeah, because it was Ricky that reached out to us and was like, "Do you want to put these on College Humor?" Right. That's right. Wow, 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 wow. And Ricky They're talking about like the Michael Showalter show and all that stuff. That's amazing. Jake Lodwick says, have you guys watched Streeter and Amir's non-prank war stuff on Vimeo? It's pretty consistently funny. Why aren't they making videos for College Humor? 
I think they should have no budget and simply be responsible for one video each workday. They could put it on the homepage. It doesn't have to be a Vimeo tie-in. Yeah, he's just like, just giving them an idea. <laughs> just like, you guys should do videos on College Humor. Well, and before he was 2007, right. like the College Humor was viral videos. It was like a guy getting hit with a shovel at a party. Yeah, and articles. So this is like, this is basically, he, I don't know, he had the idea for like Vine. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> just like just tell them to shoot funny shit in the office, and we'll yeah. put it on their we'll own. Put page. it on, yeah. I mean, because video to us, I remember videos were like they. I mean, they were very high effort, like to do anything on a video. Now it's 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 nothing. But like, yeah, a college humor original took like several months to make. Yeah, like the Mementos ad was like highly produced, but yeah. like me, you, and Streeter, like wasn't there like a one where like Streeter was doing a character? And yeah, he was like on the fire escape like pretending to masturbate in front of all of new york city or something like that. <laughs> i think i think that one was before my time i remember that video but it was before i got there yeah all right wow it's gonna be hard to top inconceivable yeah man good luck with the fruitful yield of that really salacious conversation i assume we can read all these emails because they're 17 years old at this point. I think so. I think so. Um, I want you to sp search sponge cake. Two words, but in quotations. So it has to be one thing. Okay. Quotation sponge space cake, end quote. Okay. So I have eight emails. Okay. That's um, pretty good. It looks like all of them are from lonely and horny scripts. <laughs> <laughs> so because we wrote it into a, a script, enough drafts passed through your email eight times that it's yeah. all from that. Sponge cake. <laughs> right. And it's with you and this. We mentioned this last week. Uh, Ruby and Tag, You, the line is, please do drop it. I'm going to oh, eat yeah. a massive dinner tonight. Glazed pheasant in the Scottish fashion. Rabbit and carrot stew. And East German sponge cake. And wash it down with a bottle of brandy wine. <laughs> I will undo what you did and more. I do not want to feel good or happy. <laughs> Oh, what a jerk. <laughs> yeah. That's the only email with sponge cake? Yes. Uh well there's you know, there's eight of them, but they're all they're scripts. Yeah. 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 All right. Getting closer. Not quite the oneer. So two two words is on the table. Yeah. Obviously. You broke <laughs> One the rule. Phrase or yeah. term. Um so I will uh search white discharge. I will white. search you, the word, this, the phrasing is... You e slut. <laughs> no, I will search the phrasing, is, how dare you? The phrasing is, quote, you... <laughs> Ruined. <laughs> space, passionately. You passionately. Uh, no results, yeah. <laughs> You're just hoping to find some sort of romantic yeah. email. I love you passionately. Uh, I want yeah. to fuck you passionately. Yeah, but I guess you yeah. don't really have that that hog right. in you. I'll go right back to you then. I quote you passionately for you. That's not fair. Let's you can't see do the what same you word. got. I will look it up because I'm curious, but you can't do the same thing. No, no, <laughs> none. <laughs> Well, 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 well. If it well. isn't the pot both calling timid. the kettle passionately. Um, okay. Two words is on the table? Okay, I got one. Fine. Broken promise. Two words. <laughs> oh, my God. Broken <laughs> promise. That's so fucking sad. Please, no results. Thank God. One result None. from oh. NRDC Insider. <laughs> <laughs> a broken promise, a grave mistake. Trump's reckless move on Paris from <laughs> June 2017. From the NRA. Yeah. Um, okay. Right back on you. Broken uh -huh. promise. Wow. Here we go. I guess it does sound a little too poetic. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, one from Planned Parenthood and one from the DNC headquarters. Broken Promise was when you uh, requested all of your donated money to Planned Parenthood back, right? <laughs> hey, I did this for like a tax thing, but now that it's January, I was wondering And now that I if... got the write-off, I'm wondering if I can have the cash back. It doesn't uh... seem like you have anything to fight for anyway. <laughs> Um, All right, whose turn is it? Mine. Um, hot sex. Hot sex. sex. Hot space. Hot sex. sex. Hot space. Sex. Fifteen. A lot of them lonely and horny episodes. Indeed. Damn it. Yeah. Give me amazing sex. Okay. Uh, Jake and Amir. Uh, mm-hmm. We're getting some Jake and Amir scripts. We're getting some old college humor. Uh, Interns. Half birthday <laughs> sex. Uh, movie ideas, um, mm. yeah, nothing, nothing salacious. You sure? Um, for you, I'll do quote <laughs> really fun time end quote. That's <laughs> three. That's like you're looking for like a breakup one. <laughs> now we're just trying to search ways to embarrass one another. Just name search it. really fun time, but ultimately end quote. Search my ex girlfriend's name. <laughs> uh, it doesn't really, yeah, nothing. No nothing quote really. really fun time. No, I mean there are really fun time. There's just nothing salacious. There's like uh, a recommendation for um, stuff to do in Sydney. A reservation for a mountain for looks like a Airbnb maybe. Oh yeah, yeah. Airbnb. Yeah. Um, Jake and Amir kind of funny. It looks like we had a meeting with a production company in 2015. <laughs> um, Did we ever sell that idea? I wonder. I don't know what it was. Mm. It. Yeah. Oh wait, it looks like it was just me. I wonder what. Uh, what the hell? Yeah, that's interesting. Um, hey, don't tell them you're this. Yeah. No, there's nothing there. Um, breaking up with me. <laughs> All one sentence? <laughs> All one sentence crying. Breaking up with me. Breaking up with me. Uh, Yeah. I mean, there's a, a lot of uh, forwarded emails from our uh, If I Were You Gmail. Oh, yeah. There you go. Yeah. And uh, scripts, a lot of scripts that were sent back and forth. Okay, let's yeah. try to go back to the one word. One word for each of us. Okay. Inconceivable was good. Inconceivable like a, was a rare word rather than a phrase. Surprisingly. Um, surprisingly. Okay. Surprisingly. Too many. Way really? too many. How about unsurprisingly? Okay. A little better. 51. Well, that's pretty bad. Still not as honestly. good as inconceivable. Yeah, inconceivable, goaded. Okay, all right, give me, me one le- more. Okay, I'll get one more each. Um, black magic, all one word. Black magic. Um, it's a B and H order confirmation. Fuck. <laughs> black magic camera. Yeah. But is it at least one email? It is two emails actually. There's also one from the Gap. <laughs> Okay, because you got a black magic set. I get, black pants, I guess. Introducing the premium black pants. Um, okay. Love one bunny. Last word. Love bunny. All one word. Love bunny. Love bunny. I can't imagine. Yeah, neither can I. Yeah, it's not happening. Fine. Zero. Inconceivable was perfect. Inconceivable was the goat. We got there early. It yielded a great result. Yeah. So don't be upset. Um, but that's going to happen. You know, we, yeah. it just shows you how this is all fully improvised. We don't know what it's going to yield until it happens. And that's sometimes right. that's right. The best stuff happens right, right. As soon as we start the game, that's exactly. going to happen. That's going to happen. Uh, okay. Let's take another break. Come back with our last segment. A game. And we're back. Yes, we are. And it's time for real line, fake line. Cum edition. What? The word <laughs> that I am focusing on is every time we said cum in a Jake and a mirror. Okay. And that's, is it more or less than million? It's, it's less than million. There, 
you know, the Hoodie Allen videos go without saying. We said it Our many times. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. First line. Get off your high horse, you low dog. Who amongst us hasn't come in a bath? Never said that. That's correct. Yes. You never did say that. <laughs> high horse and low dog had me thinking. It's pretty good, right? Yeah. <laughs> it definitely sounds like something I once said and forgot about. Yeah. I should have done something better with that second line. <laughs> All right, next line. She's going to come. She's going to come. You love her. She's going to calf. <laughs> you love her. <laughs> um, I'll say that's real from like a table read video. It's not from a table read video. It is from Jake and Amir push-up contest. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yup and down. Yup and down. <laughs> yeah. Then you start, I guess, talking. There's some erotic fantasy of yours. <laughs> While you're doing push ups, everyone's like, yeah, urging their partner on. And then everyone yeah. sort of starts getting quiet while everyone I'm stops, yelling yeah. erotic fan fiction at you. <laughs> <laughs> you love her. You're inside each other. You're gonna, it was like all about simultaneously coming at somebody. Is this forever? Forever isn't long enough. <laughs> Pretty uh, good. Okay. Number one, it's fun to come, especially if it helps you get some. Ugh, that could be a scroll. Number one, it's fun to come. Number one, it's fun to come, especially if it helps you get some. <laughs> I'll say that's not true. Fake line. Damn. It's not true. I thought yes. it was extra dumb because <laughs> since when does coming help you get any? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, that is something I would put in a scroll about butt chugging or something, but I mm -hmm. guess, yeah, it's okay. Uh, said in, uh, said like uh, Captain Jack Sparrow, where's the cum gone? Like, where's the rum gone? Yes. Where's the cum gone? Oh. <sighs> I think that's also ne never been said. Fake that's line. That's correct. Never yes. been said. Never I'm been said. Perfect so far. You are. Uh, okay. Uh, then you say, let's just play Mad Libs, or as I call them, Happy Libs, because they make me come. <laughs> I think that's true i think that's a real line because you go they make me and then you say happy and i go come yeah yeah happy, exactly right. <laughs> that's exactly right <laughs> yes we say it simultaneously so yeah simultaneous or holding mad style, libs yeah. okay let's just play mad libs or as i call them happy <laughs> libs because they make me simultaneous with me you say come i say happy <laughs> then after a short pause you say happy <laughs> you nailed it uh final final come base question okay uh this Amir. is for the perfect score. Never happened before. Okay, that's very hot. I might lose a little cum myself. Oh, that's real. Yeah, that's from... I might. I think that is from one of the table read episodes, isn't it? That's exactly correct. From the table read. Yeah. You got every single <laughs> cum based line. I guess they're just more memorable like that. Yeah, exactly. Or unmemorable based on the ones. Although there were a few fake ones that I definitely thought were real. Mm -hmm. Where's the cum gone? I really thought was going to get you. Yeah, that definitely sounds like something. If we haven't used it, we can easily do it. Of me yeah. walking into like the AVN Awards dressed as Captain Jack Sparrow. <laughs> with your dick out blurred. Where's the cum gone? With, with the uh, something about Mary hair. <laughs> um, all right. Solid. I'm just realizing this episode comes out on your birthday. Oh, wow. We should have been. Yeah, your birthday is on a Monday, August 5th. Yeah, today is my birthday then. A Monday birthday. Do you know how you'll celebrate? You know, I was actually born on a Monday. I was born on Monday, uh, August 5th, 1985. Interesting. So yeah. this is, I thought it it happens in seven year cycles, but this is your 39th birthday. So yeah. Maybe there was a, a, a leap year or two in there that nudged it along further exactly it must be um do you celebrate the weekend before do you do something the night of um i i don't really i'm not like a big birthday celebration guy so i think i'll do i always like to just do like a family dinner the night of my birthday maybe i'll do monday night I, my 
my vision was that I want to do a 39 mile bike ride. Oh, so it's good. like I ride for uh, a mile for every year. Yeah. And aside from that, I just want to hang out with my baby, my dog, and my wife. The I'm big a fucking three. loser. Yeah. Yeah. Not even your fucking brother. Well, I'll go on the bike ride with Micah. That's awesome. Yeah. It'd be funny if like you take an epic fucking spill on like mile 38, <laughs> like you fucking yeah. Superman or whatever yeah. it's called. And you like literally and figuratively <laughs> never make it to 39. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean? I was like, going to say literally and figuratively eat shit. <laughs> like you fucking like right. you, your wheels get I like wobble. in one of those like like Superman. <laughs> Superman that Man, ho, that ho. I don't poo. Yeah. And then I'm, yeah. <laughs> yeah a mound going, of. Ah! And then like <laughs> right. into fucking manure. Yeah. Where like Central it literally, yeah. it like is it in happened. you by easily the end. eating. Ah! Yeah. Like almost eating. like you swallow I'm, it yeah. out of a Pavlovian reflex to shit What are shit you going to get me for mouth? my birthday? What <laughs> gift are you going to get me for my birthday? I got you a gift. What gift will you get me? What'd you get me? I can't remember now, but I think I got you something. Oh, you got me tennis lessons that I didn't That's use. That's right. That's right. I did get you tennis lessons that you didn't use. That means you didn't get me anything because yeah, I never took the lessons. I spent you the never cash. got charged. Yes, it was I not did. cash. I vetoed him. It was not him. get yes. that money back. He absolutely did not fulfill his promise. He did well, not you didn't fulfill he the did promise. not pay in kind. I paid in kind. You didn't <laughs> give your time. Venmo request. Full refund. How about I personally request that you go get the tennis lessons? Because you're not a pro. You're not a pro. Shift it over to a task rabbit to help me put the wallpaper. <laughs> yeah. To help me Unmount mount my the TV. TV. Yes. It's too heavy to I remove. I need the prime because I am past I my have, prime. I don't have the tools. I don't have the wherewithal to get it done. And I need help. Is that yeah. too much to ask? No, I, I I have a couple things that I would like. So you can text me on the side, on the sly. I'll you know, I'll send you. I'll make an Amazon wish list. How about I that? saw that your OnlyFans already had one of those. Yeah, Did you, have you been getting those? Have those been coming in? Nobody. So my OnlyFans, I heard, is in the bottom one per. It's like the least subscribed to OnlyFans, and it is free. It's free to subscribe. <laughs> And yeah. it's all, I'm just trying to build that base so I can charge on a per <laughs> message basis. Like, because it's all know, about unlock that base, this photo. Yeah. That base. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I can't gain a subscriber. I can't get, <laughs> so I also got traffic data from my Amazon wish list. Wish list. It's yeah. never been visited, not even clicked on. <laughs> not even by so you. So I guess no one's to see horny. if the link works. For yeah, I mean, I click on it all the time, but I think it logged my IP address before it was like actually, yeah. You know, so it's not like counting towards all that's on there is impression. A, it just says a razor a scrub scooter, daddy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a scrub dad, a latex suit with a ball gag and a razor scooter, <laughs> so I can make some really hot content. Don't make me invest in myself because I don't want to go already more in the red than I actually am. <laughs> I paid someone to set up this OnlyFans. I paid someone to design. Yes, yes. So I should have done. I should have done. A, I should have used Squarespace. I really should have <laughs> used Squarespace. Uh, okay. All right. That's it. That's yeah. your birthday episode. Yeah. I don't know how many episodes have come out on your actual birthday, but this might be a once in a lifetime event. Yeah, it's pretty exciting. We should have had an entire segment based on like you know my oral history or my favorite birthdays or what I want, what makes me happy how I feel about aging. There was so much okay. to unpack and discuss, and it would have yeah. been a nice time for people to reflect <laughs> about me, but instead, they're gonna oh, listen actually, to this whole episode. You're turning 40 on Monday, not 39. <laughs> so I lied about my age 30. to try to drive up subscribers <laughs> on my OnlyFans. Yeah, because once you're over 40, you're technically yeah. a DILF, right. and like that puts me in this fucking category. And that I can't bucket. compete with, yeah, the DILFs. <laughs> The dilfs are already there as yeah. dad bods. Yeah, and I'm not there. And I have there. a sad bod. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Of course, we're on YouTube as always, and we're still on Patreon. Patreon.com/slash ja ja watching and sometimes writing Jake and Amir videos. That's right. And actually, all I want for my birthday is for you to subscribe to the Patreon. Me? Yeah. Fine. It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs>
This sucks though. <laughs> Four ninety nine. Now we're splitting gone. your money. Now we're splitting hairs. Um, and we'll be back next week, Woo! which will, I guess, be August 12th, somebody else's birthday probably. Hope so. All right. Ciao for now, everybody. Bye. That was a HeadGum Original.